hey guys it's ishmael and i'm back with another video and today's topic is called slay kings and slay queens does the clothes you wear define or expose who you really are as a christian or as a person i was motivated you know to do this video because i got to realize some christians um some they feel being uh, downgraded when people judge them based on the clothes that they wear and now i want to make one thing clear about that why are people doing that why are people looking at them and conclude that they are this type of people even if you are not a christian it happens someone look at looks at the way you you dress up and they conclude you must be this type of a guy or this type of a girl okay to, 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 so now i'll be looking at uh, guys and girls right but I will start with guys because I know women can be so emotional and they might get <laughs> upset thinking that I'm bashing on them. So I'm just going to first start with guys so that you listen properly and wait till to the very end because I might shock you with what I'm going to say. I might say something which you never expected. Don't conclude or don't think that I'm going to conclude my message like how I'm going to start. So first of all, um, for example, we can look at guys who like uh, dressing hip-hop uh with that hip-hop style you know putting their trousers down doing mohawks you know tattoos all that you can think have you ever looked at someone who's deep in hip-hop i'm not talking about someone who just put on sneakers only but someone who's too deep most of them as a person personally when i began to observe trying to judge their character at first i would say that i don't want to judge someone based on what they are dressing or what they dress but something which ended up coming to my mind or what I observed during all over wherever I went I would realize that it's a rare especially let's look at Christians it's rare to find someone changing their style doing mohawk or dressing like that without their character also changing hence at the end I got to realize that it's like the more you put on certain clothes there is something that motivates you or that inspires you into dressing in that type of way and there is nothing wrong to dress up but here's the danger with whatever you are watching with hip-hop clothes for example there are so many other clothes out there rock and roll and all but whatever pushed you into liking this type of clothes there is that thing of you also end up copying even the lifestyle on how those people live for example i'm the one who grew up uh there was this time which me and my friends would begin recording hip-hop songs and all but one rule i always told myself is i should never allow it to change me in terms of starting to swear in my music starting to smoke drink and all so amongst all my friends one thing i've realized i managed at the end not to allow that hip-hop to change me until my very last song that I recorded, not that I really stopped hundred percent, just that I, not, I ended up losing interest. The last song I did it was back in 2013. It was a nice song. Don't think I'm weak. I know how to rap. <laughs> Maybe one time, some other time, I might put it for you guys just to listen. But all in all, amongst all my friends, or not necessarily only my friends, but all those people who joined hip hop, I got to notice that it also changed the way they are right now at all of them just because of hip-hop they end up changing their behaviors started smoking weed alcohol wanting to sleep around with women all those negative things that you hear when you're listening to a song playing a Lil Wayne song Jay-Z and all that so at the end I got to realize no and even myself personally since I was also doing hip-hop I would realize that there's a huge temptation when you are listening to those things. It's rare that you'll keep on doing your music, nodding one, not being tempted to swear or to copy the lifestyle. Because you feel like that's how life is. That's the excitement about life. That's how you get lost. So you just have to, there's this thing that's called change the game, but don't let the game change you. Now, before I can conclude further with guys, let me go now to women or to girls. You see, with girls, um, there's this saying when we're talking as guys. If you can see 
a very nice dressed lady who dresses like that every day. Unless, of course, if she's an independent lady who is working, she has her own money, then this doesn't really mean much. But these ladies who are just, whether high school or tertiary or just job hunting, and they're always slaying those slay queens. In fact, those that I've observed my whole life, you realize even most guys, when they see such a girl or he thinks of making a move, you will end up concluding that I'll need to have a GTI in order to score this type of a girl. And why is the case? And some of those girls, some they don't like it, they get offended as if they are too materialistic. And that's the case. There's a temptation that the moment you take, put on makeup, buy Brazilian hair, most likely, as much as some of you ladies might not notice, you are trying to impress certain guys, certain types of guys. And as a result, this is how it changes you. As much as you feel like, ah, I'm not into blessers, I'm not into sugar daddies, I'm not into married men. One thing that you don't realize, it changes you without you noticing, is that now you will start targeting guys who can give you money to buy those expensive bags, expensive hair, expensive makeup and clothes. Someone who can always take you out into luxury places, luxurious places. And without you knowing, now when a normal guy your age or someone who's just started working or who's still job hunting, who has his own degree and all, when he comes and confronts you or approaches you, you feel like, no, I don't go for broke guys. That's how this saying started. And at the end, most of such women, they take offense when now guys judge them based on that. Because some they say, I don't, I don't, I won't date someone who doesn't have a car. So without you knowing, it's just that's how what guys encounters with such ladies. Hence, the moment that you see any girl, I'm not talking about someone who dresses nice on a Sunday service only. No, on a daily basis, most likely when you approach her, she will not switch, start switching you off. The next second you hear that she's dating a married guy who has man who's rich. Why? Because most likely is the clothes that she wears something motivated her into doing that so my thing what i can tell you whether you like you're a guy or a girl you like hip-hop or you like whatever you want your clothes clothes they don't change who you are inside the inner you is not changed like one of the videos i made that what you eat does not change you but what comes out of you is to make sure as a christian that whatever if you feel like you want to slay every day make sure not even a single bit it doesn't change who you really are because not necessarily when you are closed uh, when you're dressed like that it ends there you also attract because that's what people observe like i said in a daily basis with such people you are attracting attention and people will start concluding is this guy really a deep guy is it this guy not playful and all that is this girl not those ones who like cars range rovers you see and the moment people start judging, you feel like that's being unfair. Without you noticing that you are just making it easy for them now to observe you close. So the moment you start dressing up like that, make sure you keep your Christian character right at all costs, at all times. You don't change. If someone comes, whether he has money, still go for your normal standard. Keep your morals. If you like dating guys your age who are Christians, keep it that way no matter the kind of clothes don't expect them to give you money and all and you realize as much as people will want to judge you they'll be motivated instead of wow you are the first lady or the first guy who dresses like this but who's still good who's still a deep christian wow that's how some like some of the pastors we see on tvs preaching just wearing a normal t-shirt some boons and all like, oh wow this guy is a pastor but he's dressed like that not in suit it becomes a wow thing because we're not used to that because the moment you wear like that you're something else so that's one thing i could tell you and as i conclude my video uh one story i once encountered there was this guy in one prayer i was attending after the prayer the guy introduced himself and he said he was dressed in like those rock, deep rock and roll guys you know with mohawk those shirts that have been cut off on the side those boots you know all those deep rock and roll you would say that, that this guy may be on to drugs or something. But that guy at the end was like, don't be surprised by the way I dress. I'm a real man of God. 
So to me, as much as I was in, already in that stage of I don't want to judge people according to how they dress, hey, it became so difficult for me to believe. Is it really that deep? I, I wanted to understand what motivates him into dressing up like that. Though at the end I never really got to know his personal life or his Christianity so deep, but it was difficult for me to now to then take him so serious because of the way he was dressed. So make sure the more you dress like that, be ready to back up your the real you, your real personality, because it will be easy enough for people to spot you. This is all I had for you today. Remember to subscribe if you're watching for the first time or if you have never you have been subscribed yet and remember to give my video a thumbs up. Ishmael will see you next time.